This is the Real Easy Nappy by Hip It Baby. It's an all-in-one nappy, but really it's more of a hybrid between an all-in-one and a pocket. There's a booster inside in the pocket, but it's actually attached to the nappy, so it means it's an all-in-one. It comes in five different sizes, so it's got a really good size range. Probably one of the best on the nappy market, really. It's extra small, it's from £4, from 1.8 kilograms, and it goes up to the extra large, £45 plus, which is 20.5 kilograms. So this nappy is a really good choice if you've got a child that's late potty training, or perhaps still just in night nappies. It's an excellent night nappy as you can put loads of boosters into the pocket. In reality, the size that will get most use is the medium, which is 15 to 32 pounds, or 6.5 to 14.5 kilograms. It has popper fastenings with adjustments around the leg and the waist, so it makes it a highly adjustable nappy. It's excellent if you've got a baby with perhaps chunky legs and a small waist, or vice versa. It has lovely soft elastic around the legs, and this is frilled. This has anti-wicking properties which prevents wetness from spreading onto the outside of the nappy. It doesn't look like it would be very good at containment, it's actually excellent, especially for breastfed poo and younger babies. You won't need a separate waterproof cover, it comes included. As you can see, it's a soft laminate layer on the outside of the nappy. There's a choice of a soft minky fabric, which is like furry, or there's a soft polyester option as well. As you open the nappy up, you'll see there's a lovely soft micro fleece layer against the baby's skin. This helps to whip moisture away and keep the baby dry. It also stays soft no matter how many times it's washed. Inside the pocket, there's a booster attached. This can just be pulled out for easier drying. And it's good that you won't lose it in the wash because it's attached. The core of the nappy itself is made from microfiber, two layers. And this, this is highly absorbent, but very quick drying. The pocket itself is very big, so you can fit a lot of boosters in there. So it's an excellent nighttime nappy. The booster is made from organic cotton. It's made from three layers, so it's highly absorbent. It does dry quickly though, because it can be pulled out flat. To prepare the nappy for use, you need to tuck the booster inside the pocket. You can either just put it in flat, like this, and push it right down to the end. Or alternatively, for a boy, you could just fold it back a third on itself and then just tuck that into the pocket. This will mean you've got most of the absorbency at the front of the nappy where boys need it most. Or finally, for a girl, you could fold the booster in half and then just tuck that into the pocket. This will ensure that there's most absorbency towards the back and the middle of the nappy, which is where girls need it most. The manufacturers say it's not necessary to use a liner with this nappy, but it's up to you. The fleece on the nappy should prevent staining, but if you want to prevent it further, you could always add another layer of fleece on top. It does make solids easier to deal with, as they can just be shaken down in the toilet before washing the fleece again. Or you could use a paper liner. These are the ultimate inconvenience, as they're just flushed away with any poo that the baby produces. You do need a new one every time, though. So now you're ready to put your nappy on the baby. If you're using a liner, just check it's in the right place and check you've got the right size nappy for your baby. Then it'll just go on like a disposable. So underneath the baby's bottom, just checking that it's central. Pull up through the baby's legs and then do the poppers. It's best to do the leg poppers first. This just gives it a, a better fit. And just pull the sides down as you do it to prevent rucking of any fabric. Do the same on both sides. Then just double check the fit. Check it's not too tight around the waist and that it's not too tight around the legs. And that if you are using a liner, that it's all tucked in. So when the baby's ready for a change, just undo the poppers, pull the nappy down through the legs, catching any solids as you go. 
These will be flushed away with a paper liner if you're using one. And then prepare the nappy for washing. The best way to do this is actually to take the booster from outside the pocket. This means that it will wash better and it will be easier to dry it also. The manufacturers do say that if you can fasten the nappy up inside out, that will give more efficient washing. And just place that in a dry nappy bucket. You don't need to soak this nappy. Real easy nappy.